These are 20 things you didn't know about Cristiano Ronaldo. Are you ready to have your mind blown? And first, I bet you didn't know that Ronaldo can run faster than cars? Ronaldo might become the next Usain Bolt. But at number 19, Ronaldo already became the richest football player of all time? You are apparently worth half a billion dollars. I don't know, maybe. Who the f does that reporter think he is? Ronaldo's worth way more than that. On the field alone, he's racked in over 500 million. But off the field, Ronaldo's been creating his own NFT collections, dropping merch for his fans. So we! So we! Ronaldo even makes over a million dollars every single time he posts on the gram. But Ronaldo's biggest money move was when he became just the third athlete ever to sign a lifetime deal with Nike, and it made him football's first billionaire. So yeah, he's rich, rich. But at number 18, he used to be fat, fat. Nah, but Ronaldo's team was so concerned about him putting on a few pounds, they hired a fat guy just to motivate him. A lot of people say my methods and exercises are silly or irrelevant. Those people are wrong. Now just kind of kick your legs and go in a circle. And you're gonna do it until you kind of feel dizzy. Mm, sorry. Uh, uh, uh. That's what I'm talking about! Oh, yeah! Man, I'm trying to get wet with Ronaldo, but I ain't the only one. Cause at number 17, Ronaldo admitted that the best goal of his career doesn't compare to what his girl does to him. The way I jump against Juventus, quarterfinals of Champions League, probably one of the best goals I ever seen in football. Better than sex? Better than sex? No. It was, wasn't it? No, with my Gio, no. She said that she wears sexy lingerie in bed every night. And she does that because it makes her feel good. So the obvious question, Christiana, is does it make you happy? Makes me happy. <laughs> Damn, I can see why Ronaldo loves the bedroom. That's why at number 16, he's also the best sleeper in the entire world. It's the key. Instead of going to sleep at night and waking up in the morning like us normal people, Ronaldo's built different and takes five 90 minute naps per day. Whether it's on his private jet or on his $30,000 custom mattress, Ronaldo cares about sleep so much, he literally forced his football club to install sleeping pods at their training facility. Now this man knows how to get laid. But now you see where Ronaldo gets his energy for number 15. He has a better voice than most singers? Even though Ronaldo was seen kicking it with rapper Lil Wayne, <laughs> what he actually listens to is Phil Collins, George Michael, Elton John, Brazilian music, Portuguese. I mean, this band's bumping this music everywhere. And not only was Ronaldo eventually inspired to hop in the booth, Amor mio. Eres el ser que amo sin fin. Look at his voice! Winnie Houston! Winnie Ronaldo! Nowadays, Ronaldo sings his favorite song everywhere he goes. Now that's beautiful. But let's be real, Ronaldo ain't actually trying to become a singer. Cause at number 14, he's training to become a professional race car driver. He tried to teach me uh, some stuff, but he going so fast that I, did, I didn't take a lot of attention because I was like in the pressure. Unbelievable, fantastic experience. Man, just imagine getting passed up by a dude doing this. Mm -hmm. So I'm beginning to think there's nothing Ronaldo can't do. Cause at number 13, he's got over 50 world records. From scoring the most goals ever, to being the highest rated FIFA player of all time, Ronaldo even recently bought the most expensive new car in history, a $14 million Bugatti. So reporters are always praising Ronaldo's records anytime they see him. 
You currently hold these records. Most goals in a UEFA Champions League season by an individual. Most Champions League goals scored in a calendar year. Most hat-tricks in a La Liga career. Most followers on Twitter for an athlete. Most liked person on Facebook in the world. Pretty, pretty good. But just scrolling through the ridiculous amount of records Ronaldo has would take days. So let's just talk about his craziest record at number 12. Ronaldo's now the most famous person in history. He's already been the most followed athlete on Twitter, the most followed person on Facebook. Hell, his wiki page has been viewed over 48 trillion times. But he recently became the first person ever to hit 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 million Instagram followers, and he's the most followed Instagram ever. Hi right, guys, 400 million. Wow, what a number. Now I can say, <laughs> without you, this would be, would be possible. So from the bottom of my heart, I have to say thank you. Man, really has all those fans and didn't have to show his ass a single time? All right, maybe once, but. And number 11, being famous, makes it impossible for Ronaldo to go out in public. Ronaldo really took more pics than he took sips. Now I see why he puts on disguises to just go outside. So yeah, fame isn't always the best thing in the world. And now that we're getting into the top 10, I guarantee you didn't know a damn thing about these stories, like Ronaldo's $25 million lawsuit. In 2009, Ronaldo and his boys flew into a party capital of the world, Las Vegas. And you know what they say, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, everything except Ronaldo's seat. Developing story here on SportsCenter, Cristiano Ronaldo is under investigation for a rape allegation and investigators here in the U.S. are seeking DNA from the man widely considered to be the best soccer player in the world. Now at first, Ronaldo denied all the allegations. No, 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 no. What they said today is fake, fake news. Still though, the situation made its way to court where the girl claimed Ronaldo paid her hush money of $300,000 and felt she deserved at least $25 million for the damages. But once Ronaldo's lawyers got involved, they found out that the girl was the guilty one. The alleged victim had sued him for $25 million in damages, but the judge dismissed the case with prejudice, meaning it can't be refiled. But for real, as crazy as that might be, at number 9, what if I told you that Ronaldo owns something in outer space? It all started when Ronaldo surprised his fans by releasing brand new CR7 merch that was galaxy themed. But these special edition pieces weren't only made because he liked the colors. Ronaldo wanted to honor some big news that he was being given. His own galaxy? In a place over 12 billion light years away? Has some of the first stars ever? And is the brightest galaxy ever discovered? This is Cosmos Redshift 7, aka CR7. And yeah, it was really named after Ronaldo. Man. This dude is everywhere just because he's a football go. But ironically, at number eight, football isn't even Ronaldo's favorite sport. We've seen him trying out baseball where he got to hit dingers and throw out the first pitch at an MLB game. But with a noodle arm like that, ain't no way baseball's his favorite. Ronaldo loves basketball way more. From kicking in threes to throwing down dunks, it was even measured that Ronaldo's got a vertical leap higher than most NBA players. Ronaldo's athleticism is beyond legendary, and that's why after he pulled off one of the craziest leaps in football history, he compared himself to Michael Jordan, and other NBA players started doing Ronaldo's celebration at their games. Still though, basketball is not even Ronaldo's favorite. In fact, he doesn't even like playing with balls. He prefers watching combat sports like boxing or UFC, even though he knows he'll never go pro. Do you think you could be a fighter? I don't think so. <laughs> wow, I never thought Ronaldo would be into that. But I also didn't think his diet would be as ridiculous as number seven. Ronaldo loves food so much, he can't even eat a single meal without taking a selfie with it. From kicking around his breakfast in the morning to a protein-filled diet of Portuguese dishes, octopus, pizza, and even KFC, Ronaldo hired a personal chef Yo. 
to make sure he eats six meals per day. So no matter where dude's at, he's always putting something in his mouth, even on the field. Uh, I didn't see that on the DoorDash menu. But as weird as that is, it ain't as weird as number six. Cause Ronaldo's been in some of the weirdest commercials I've ever seen. What do you feel? Will you tell me? All I know is, Ronaldo must have secured the bag of a lifetime to make a fool out of himself like that. But as much work as he puts into endorsements, he goes even harder at number five. Cause I bet you didn't know that Ronaldo works out more than any other athlete. Just take a look at this man's physique. I mean, he definitely ain't like us. And it's not a coincidence that Ronaldo has less body fat than supermodels. He works out four hours a day, five days per week, and how much in a year? This year, I spent 620 hours in training sessions. Ronaldo's ridiculous workout routine ain't something you can do at Planet Fitness. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. I mean, the dude literally does cardio by riding a bike underwater. And he lifts around 50,000 pounds every single session. That's like lifting a car 50 times. But Ronaldo would have never become who he was if it weren't for number four. Cause there's no way you knew that. Ronaldo used to be ugly as f Ever since dude got famous, he's gotten more plastic surgery than Michael Jackson. $600 a year to get his eyebrows lined up? $2,000 a year to fix his wrinkly ass forehead? 5k for a nose job? $20,000 veneers? Dude even got a hair transplant? So he didn't end up like Andrew Tate. First things first, I'm bald by choice. Tate, shut your bowling ball head ass up. We're talking about Ronaldo here. Anyways, Ronaldo went from a homeless man to an icon a little too fast. Cause now his ego's so big, he clowns all of his ugly teammates. <laughs> Damn, how's he gonna let Ronaldo do him like that? Oh wait. Mario <laughs> <laughs> At least he reminded Ronaldo who he used to be. Now that might be all fun and games, but at number three, Ronaldo recently suffered the biggest tragedy of his life. Cause right after him and his girl announced that they were expecting twins, the world found out some devastating news. We are going to begin the show today with some absolutely terrible news from England, where the Manchester United star Cristiano Ronaldo has announced that his baby boy has died. It's probably the worst moments that I passed through my life since my father died. You know, when you have a kid that you expect that everything will be normal and you have that problem, it's, it's hard, you know. As human being that I am, mean, we don't understand why it happened to us. Probably the most difficult moment that I had in my life, me and my, my family especially. And Ronaldo's teammates knew he was going through it, so they didn't mind if he missed their next match. But Ronaldo didn't want to let everybody down. So once he stepped on the field, he made history by scoring his 100th Premier League goal and dedicated his celebration to his baby. Man, everything Ronaldo does is legendary. But at number two, the only reason Ronaldo even became a legend was the secret behind his jersey number. As a teenager, the first number that Ronaldo repped was 28, until he wore it during a friendly matchup against Man United and dominated their squad so badly, they demanded him to join their club immediately. So literally a week later, they gave Ronaldo the most expensive contract of any teenage football player ever, over 12 million euros, and he officially became a demon. Only problem was, United didn't just want him to become a star. They wanted him to follow in the footsteps of legends and forced him to change his jersey number. All players know in Manchester and around the world as well that number seven is a mythic number in, in this club. Uh, so Alex Ferguson said to me, you're gonna take the number seven. It was that kind of moment that you never forget. I knew it's the history of the number seven in the club. Damn, if it wasn't for that one decision, we would have never even heard of CR7. But at number one, Ronaldo's been secretly changing the world. There's not a single athlete who loves saving lives as much as Ronaldo. 
From paying $83,000 for a young fan's brain surgery, to spending $165,000 on a cancer center that even helped his mom beat the disease, Ronaldo also auctioned off his Ballon d'Or trophy for $600k to donate all of his earnings to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. That's just the beginning though, cause Ronaldo was motivated to save as many people as he could during the COVID pandemic. He not only donated a million dollars to Portuguese hospitals to help fight the virus, he took a four million dollar pay cut so that no employees of his club would be laid off. But some of Ronaldo's biggest donations came cause of devastating earthquakes. When one of the deadliest in history destroyed Turkey and Syria by killing over 50,000 people, Ronaldo sent planes with care packages to survivors in the area. And after an earthquake hit Nepal, Ronaldo made a $7 million donation to aid the country that got him named the world's most charitable athlete of all time. Getting that title may have cost him millions, but it's worth more than anything he's done on the field. What Ronaldo's doing for the world makes me think there'll never be another athlete or a person like him ever again. And as you can see, there's a lot of things Ronaldo doesn't talk about much, but if you didn't know those things about him, I guarantee there's things you didn't know about football. There's a rule named after Ronaldo? There's a secret two-point line? FIFA got hit with a $20 billion controversy, which is leading to the craziest video game of all time? There's plenty you didn't know, so I still don't know why you haven't clicked this video, man. It's free. Click it.